Good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, just uh, been having a lot of troubles coming up with some content lately. Um, feels like all we do here when it's winter time is just wake up in the morning, feed the pigs, and then at night do the exact same thing. So I'm trying to not to be too repetitive on my content here, but um, so I apologize for maybe waiting a little bit before I made a video. But I did make a minor improvement to our pig house. Uh, I like to call it Fort Knox because these pigs are impossible to keep separated. We've tried four different attempts to keep them on their separate sides and they keep figuring out a way to break out and be with each other. And Peppa's starting to show some interest in Wilbur and the other way around. So I'm trying to avoid Peppa having piglets, piglets too early, but I don't know, maybe the damage is already done. So the other day I got pretty frustrated with them and I uh, went to our hardware store and picked up a bunch of lumber. It, uh, and it cost a little bit of money because lumber prices are high, but I mean, I don't know what else to do. So I'm gonna show you what I came up with yesterday. Uh, I was working in minus 30 degree weather, so it was very, very cold, but I really had no choice. So I'll just flip the camera around and show you. So we, here we are in the inside Fort Knox. I built a four foot wall here. And then this is where all the hay is stacked. So I uh, ended up putting a couple pieces of two by four there just, just to make sure that they can't jump over that and uh, be with each other. So on one side, that's Peppa's side and this is Wilbur's side. And uh, they both have access to the outside. And then there's Wilbur there eating some slops. And then Peppa's doing the same thing over there. So they're separated now. And uh, they've never had any tr success in trying to jump these fences for some reason. But maybe that was the hardest part to do. The path of least resistance was in the barn there. So that is built very, very strong. I couldn't even take that apart with a sledgehammer. So I'm pretty confident that the pigs won't be able to plow through that. But I've definitely been wrong before. So these pigs have outsmarted me a few times and I'm just trying to be the smarter man here and it's been tough going. But I I like to learn this and I like to think about stuff and how can I, I, can I outsmart these things? So hopefully try number five worked good. And that's probably the reason why I called it Fort Knox because I did everything I could to make that as strong as possible and as high as possible to outsmart these things. So there you go, guys. Um, sorry about the delay in content, but like I said before, it's pretty tough to come up with stuff to where you do the same things every day. But I did want to document that for you guys because it is something I worked on yesterday and something new that I introduced to our farm. So thanks a lot guys for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video. And please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification to remind it of future videos. Thanks a lot guys. We'll talk to you later.